Hi, <coughs> my name is Dr. George Christos. I'm a theoretical physicist, um, but I um, done my PhD in particle physics. But I do like to think about other things. Um, if you search me on the um, internet, you'll see I have a theory about SIDS. I have a theory about creativity. I have a theory about why we dream, um, which is basically that we're getting our brain ready to learn new things on the next day. But this blog here, uh, or, or this, uh, I want to start like a serious discussion on why we may have evolved to um, grow beards, why men have evolved to grow beards. Um, I, I have heard of a few theories, I haven't researched it that, that much, but I have heard of a few theories. I know that, um, that Charles Darwin uh, said that women find men with beards more, sort, sort of more uh, attractive. Uh, I think there may be some truth to that, but I'll come sort of back to that later. I don't think it's the fundamental reason of why we have evolved to have beards, because uh, most men shave and most women don't like beards now. So, I mean, if it was that, I mean, I'd, I'd imagine a lot more men would have beards now. But I think there is some truth to it, and I'll come back to it. Um, another theory that I've heard is that men grew beards to keep warm, uh, so when they went um, hunting, uh, they would have warmth around their um, face and their and their neck. But I don't like that theory um, uh, because uh, if it was to keep our neck warm, why does my hair just stop growing here? I mean, I, I have no hair growing here. It's just basically here. The other thing I noticed, I've been growing this beard for about nine weeks. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that um, uh, these bits here grew quite quickly, but after a while they actually stopped growing. So these bits stopped growing, whereas these bits keep growing. I mean, these are at least twice as long as the hairs here. Uh, I had the most density of hair around here but yet it's, it's stopped growing here and it's growing here. So it's, it's sort of growing outwards and uh, looking at myself and wondering why I'm growing more hair here as opposed to here. I mean, one, one reason that the hair may stop growing here is you don't want too much hair in your, in your mouth, in your mouth because you have to eat. And the reason we don't grow hair up here is you don't want it to obstruct your vision and uh, sort of things like that and um, um, but why is it that it grows so much more here and I think the reason has to do with to make us look scary so if you go back to the um, uh, early times you know in the cave days um, uh, it is true that, that the uh, women and children would, would stay in their caves and men will go out and uh, I think men grew beards to look scary, to look scary to other men. Now if you look at me, um, this beard makes my jaw look bigger. Uh, in those days men may have fought by biting other, other men. Uh, um, also, it makes my neck look thicker, so I may look stronger. And I'm only joking when I say this. I mean, someone sees someone with a big beard, with a big neck, they think, oh, you know, he's a rugby league player. You know, I better not pick on him. And in those times, there were no laws. So if you saw someone that had something that you wanted, you would go and take it if you think you could. All right, you would just go and do it if you want to just kill someone and 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 take his food, his tools, his wife, whatever. You would in fact do it. So, if, if someone with a beard saw someone with no beard, uh, they would think, oh, "You look at that guy. He's you know skinny little neck. You know what a little pussy. I'm going to go and take his stuff." And and. Man has always been very like violent and, and 
and even now, a man is very uh, like violent. I mean, there's lots of fighting around the world in different countries. And in the early days, it would have been not country against country or or um, things sort of one ethnic group against another, but it would have been maybe just a small family clan. Uh, I mean, men themselves wouldn't have lived beyond 30, so I mean, they probably still had grandparents and, and extended families. And um, they would have had to, pro, pro, men would have had to protect their, their family or extended family. I, I think then later, there may have been like family groups uh, that, that lived in clans and there would have been a lot of like conflict and I think having a beard on a, on a man to make him look scary when he goes out to fight or not to be uh, picked upon would have been an, an advantage to him. Now this theory explains why women don't have beards as opposed to men, because a uh, woman would really be seen, they'd be hidden, the men would be on the on the border of their little family clan or village, whatever you want to call it, to pro protect the family. And and really, uh, if you saw someone with a beard, you you would be frightened. He, he, you know, he's a man. I mean. Uh, and you know, like I said, I mean, it makes your jaw look bigger. Maybe he'll bite my ears off, like Mike Tyson, or um, well, of course I wasn't a Mike Tyson then. But but you know, um, it's just a thought that he may beat me. You know, like I don't want to challenge him. You know, I don't want to die. I've got to protect my own family. I can't raid him and take and take what he has. And those that didn't have beards. They were at a distinct um, disadvantage in that the other men uh, would just think, well, you know, that's an easy prey. I'm, I'm going to go and take his stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to take his food. I'm going to take his wife. I'm going to, you know, um, uh, yeah, just take him everything he has. So um, uh, that's the theory that uh, I am putting forward in this um, YouTube uh, video and I would welcome serious comments about it uh, and you know uh, we'll write from now on uh, but basically my theory is this men grew beards to look scary to other men. Um, I've been growing this beard for about nine weeks. Um, uh, what is what has so what has so what has surprised me a little bit is that is that I have noticed when I'm walking around with my beard that other men look at you uh, in a like different way. Um, the fact that you have a beard, you, you sort of do look a little bit. Even now, you do look do look a little bit. I'm scary. I mean, that's why like bikies have beards and things like that. But what surprised me is that I thought that I would look scary to uh, fe females as well, but that's actually not the case. And I found, you know, when I go shopping, uh, more so now than before, the females seem to talk to me. Um, and maybe it's when I had a shaved face, it, it may look like I wanna, uh, you know, get the better of them, I wanna uh, have sex, whatever, with them, but, um, maybe the beard just puts me in a different uh, view that, that I'm not after that. Yet they're not scared of the beard because they were used to men having beards. Um, they were not, it's not something that frightened them. They weren't at the forefront uh, on the boundary of the village or clan fighting. Okay, anyhow, so that's the theory and I'm asking all people out there who, who know about this to um, to, to make comments and and we can talk about this further. Oh, the thing about Charles Darwin about uh, women finding men more attractive with beards that could have uh, be like a like a secondary like a like a secondary effect um, uh, because a man with a beard um, back in those days may have had good um, fighting skills, good hunting skills, you'll be able to protect the family, 
Um, so I can see where that may come from, but I really believe, I firmly believe that beards are not evolved just to make men um, look attractive. I think it's a, it's a sign of, of fierceness, a, a sign of strength, uh, something to frighten someone off from, from coming at you. And it is well known that men do like to fight each other and even as a, um, as a, um, as a young man when I used to go out, if, if you looked uh, weak in some way, other men would, would pick fights on you and uh, I was generally quite thin and lots of people used to pick fights on me and that's, and that's in today's world you know, where we have laws. So just imagine what it was like in those days. I mean, if, if you thought that you could beat someone, kill them, take, take what they had, then you would do it. There, there, there were no laws. I mean, you're not going to get the police coming in by knocking on your cave uh, and like taking you to court. There were no laws. No laws. You would have taken what you could have taken. And the only really defence the man had was his beard. And I really do not believe it has to do with keeping your chin warm. Uh, you know, we have hair in our heads to keep the sun sun off so we don't so we don't sort of fry our brains, but but why here, you know, and and why us? Why why men and not uh, women have beards and and, and it's not to do with what because I have no hair here, I have no hair on my shoulders. I know there's some men that have a lot of hair here and here, but most men uh, only have like facial hair. Uh, some people have very small amounts of like uh, facial hair, um, but uh, for most, for a lot of men, they will grow these full beards and they tend to keep growing in this way so your neck looks bigger. Um, uh, you may look scarier, bigger chin, you may have a really big jaw, you know, like I've got a really big jaw, I'm going to get him, I'm going to eat him. I mean, you know, like there are probably no rules in fighting. I mean, if you fight nowadays, you're not going to bite someone, but in those days, I mean, you might have, you might just, you know, bite his face off, his nose off, or his ear off. So, um, anyhow, that's my theory, is that we evolved, that men, and only men, evolved to have beards to look frightening to other men so that they could uh, not be taken advantage of uh, and uh, like I said if you, you have like a nice clean little sort of baby face you look like a child the man with the beard uh, uh, would think yes I can beat him has he got something I need uh, why don't I just take it